It was supposed to be America's ultimate fighter jet, the one aircraft that could dominate any sky, outsmart any radar, and strike any enemy before being seen. Yet somewhere along the way, the F-35 became a story of frustration, delays, and disappointment. But then something unexpected happened. Israel took the very same jet that many called a failure and turned it into a game, changing weapon that even Russia fears. How did that transformation happen? How did the so-called failed F-35 become a silent assassin in Israeli hands capable of penetrating the most advanced Russian air defense networks? The truth behind this story reveals more than just technology. It shows how mindset, strategy, and adaptation can turn weakness into strength. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most controversial yet fascinating stories in modern defense aviation. Why America's F-35 struggled to live up to expectations, but Israel took the same jet and made it an unmatched symbol of air dominance. From design and performance to safety and price, we'll break down how Israel turned the F-35 into a real world nightmare for its enemies. The F-35 Lightning Sigo was born from ambition. America wanted a single stealth fighter that could serve the Air Force, Navy, and Marines, a one-size-fits-all aircraft. On paper, it was brilliant. In practice, it became a logistical and technical mess. Each branch wanted different features. The Air Force wanted range and stealth. The Navy wanted stronger landing gear and longer wings for carriers. And the Marines demanded vertical takeoff capability. Trying to combine all three into one frame meant endless compromises. The result was a jet that was over budget, overweight, and plagued by software bugs. It looked futuristic, but performance-wise, it couldn't fully meet the original expectations. When Israel received its first F-35s, it didn't just accept them as they were. Instead, Israel approached the jet as a foundation, not a finished product. The Israeli Air Force renamed it Adir, meaning Mighty One, and immediately began customizing it for the unique realities of Middle Eastern warfare. America's F-35s were designed for broad, multi-role missions across continents. Israel's version was engineered for fast, precision strikes, close coordination with ground units, and survival in heavily defended airspace surrounded by Russian-made surface-to-air missile systems. From the outside, the F-35 looks like an elegant weapon of the future. Its sharp edges, smooth surfaces, and radar absorbing materials make it nearly invisible to radar. The jet's shape minimizes reflection and heat signature, allowing it to slip through enemy defenses. However, the American version often struggled with maintenance and sustainment costs. The complex coating materials and intricate components made it expensive to repair and difficult to keep operational. Israel tackled this challenge head on. They modified several components of the exterior systems, improving access for maintenance crews, adjusting the cooling systems for the hot desert climate, and reworking stealth coatings for local conditions. These adjustments weren't just cosmetic, they improved readiness and reduced turnaround times between missions. Inside the F-35, the cockpit feels like stepping into a new era of aviation. Pilots don't see dials and switches, they see a fully digital interface. Large touchscreen displays replace traditional gauges and the pilot's helmet, known as the helmet, mounted display system literally lets them see through the jet. Cameras around the aircraft feed real-time visuals directly into the visor, so when a pilot looks down, they see the ground below the jet. Israel took this a step further. They installed their own encrypted communication systems and integrated local targeting software, connecting the F-3D-59 to Israel's battlefield networks and intelligence grids. The result is a cockpit where every mission is powered by real, Time national intelligence, giving pilots an unmatched awareness of the sky around them. In terms of performance, America's F-35 was often criticized for not being as agile as older fighters like the F-16 or F-15. 
It wasn't built for dogfights. It was built for invisibility and precision. But Israel reshaped how the jet was used. They designed mission protocols that turned its weaknesses into strengths. With advanced electronic warfare suites, Israeli F-35s can detect jam and neutralize radar systems from miles away. When Russia deployed its S-400 missile systems in Syria, those systems were theoretically capable of spotting stealth aircraft. Yet Israeli F-35s reportedly flew right through that airspace, undetected. They performed reconnaissance missions and precision strikes slipping past defenses that were supposed to be impenetrable. This wasn't just about speed or power. It was about intelligence, coordination, and confidence. The F-35's power comes from its Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, one of the most advanced jet engines ever built. It can push the aircraft past 1.6 and allows short bursts of supersonic speed without sacrificing stealth. But where Israel truly made a difference was in software optimization. They reprogrammed parts of the mission data file, the jet's brain that stores all known threats and flight behaviors. The American version had to wait for centralized software updates from the Pentagon. But Israel wanted independence. By gaining permission to modify its own software, a privilege no other country has, they ensured their jets could adapt instantly to new threats. That decision gave Israel a huge tactical edge. When it comes to safety, the F-35 is one of the most intelligent jets ever built. Its onboard computers constantly monitor thousands of parameters, predicting failures before they happen. But again, Israel enhanced this system. They added local data encryption, independent backup communication channels, and a customized threat detection system that warns pilots of radar locks or missile launches even faster than the standard version. Flying in one of the most volatile regions on Earth, surrounded by Russian, Syrian, and Iranian systems, those seconds can make all the difference. One of the most overlooked advantages of the Israeli F-35I is its connectivity. It isn't just an aircraft, it's an airborne network hub. The Israeli version can control drones mid-flight coordinate strikes with ground-based missile systems and feed live intelligence back to command centers. It's like a flying brain connecting the entire battlefield. This ability to integrate air, land, and cyber warfare makes the ADER unique. While other nations operate the F-35 as a standalone platform, Israel treats it as part of a broader digital ecosystem. That ecosystem is what makes their version deadlier and smarter. Each F-35 comes with a jaw dropping price tag somewhere between 80 and $100 million depending on configuration. America spent billions over decades perfecting a jet that struggled to deliver on all its promises, but Israel viewed cost differently. They didn't buy quantity, they built quality. Every F-35I in their fleet is a finely tuned weapon tailored for precision. By investing in adaptability instead of mass production, Israel turned a financial burden into a long-term strategic advantage. There's also a psychological side to this transformation. When the US rolled out the F-35, it became entangled in politics, lobbying, and bureaucracy. It was less about combat and more about contracts. Israel, however, didn't have that luxury. Every upgrade, Every line of code and every modification had one goal, to survive and win. Their entire approach was rooted in necessity, not pride. That mindset explains why the same aircraft that caused headaches in Washington became a nightmare for adversaries near Tel Aviv. In the skies of the Middle East, the Israeli F-35 has already proven its value. Reports suggest it has conducted missions deep inside hostile territories, neutralized advanced radar systems, and provided live surveillance over conflict zones, all without being detected. For Russia, this is alarming. Their S-400 and S-300 systems, considered among the best in the world, are supposed to track even stealth fighters. But Israeli F-35s have shown that stealth, combined with tactical intelligence and localized upgrades, can outsmart even the most advanced defense systems. 
So why did America's F-35 fail, but Israel's dominate? The answer is perspective. America designed the F-35 as a global product, a jet meant to please everyone, but mastered by no one. Israel designed the F-35I as a survival tool, a weapon built for their exact threats, their environment, and their tactics. America focused on complexity, Israel focused on effectiveness. America built a fighter jet, Israel built a system of control. That's the difference between a costly experiment and a strategic triumph. In the end, technology is only as powerful as the people who understand how to use it. The F-35 was never truly a failure. It was a misunderstood masterpiece that needed the right operator. Israel proved that with the right vision. Even a troubled program can become unstoppable. The ADIR isn't just another fighter. It's a symbol of how innovation, independence, and relentless adaptation can turn a weapon into a legend. And perhaps the most important lesson here is that dominance in the modern battlefield isn't about who builds the most expensive machine. It's about who uses it the smartest. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the story of the F-35 and Israel's remarkable transformation of it, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Because next time, we'll explore how artificial intelligence and drone warfare are rewriting the future of combat as we know it.